so the leadership will have to change because there are some committees that is clear uh, who the chair must be and where the chair must come from in terms of who is a majority side and then in terms of the actual membership of committees remember that the formula is based on the numbers so the membership of committees will also have to change we will now have to become majority in the various committees so all of these consultations are going to begin in, and it's going to be a very busy weekend uh, we're going to consult with our flag bearer consult with the uh, functional executive committee of our party uh, to nominate somebody uh, to be second deputy speaker and then um, we'll begin the processes of also nominating uh, the new chairs and the uh, new leadership of the various committees so a lot of work to do but ultimately we want these few weeks before the end of the eighth parliament to matter and to count. There are so many matters, as you know, matters that we have been raising, that we have our say, we win the debate, but we do not have our way. We do not carry the day because we didn't have the numbers. We are determined to make sure that these numbers count and that all of those obnoxious draconian policies um, I mean, for example, the uh, inaction in terms of the Galamse fight, all of these uh, very, you know, inimical taxes that have imposed hardships on our people. We are going to start work in earnest to make sure that our numbers count. So in the next few days, uh, history is going to be made. Yes. This is going to be a defining consequential moment. And we are determined that this defining and consequential moment ultimately should matter to the Ghanaian. It should reflect in bringing reprieve, in bringing some hope to the Ghanaian who has been suffering under this intransigent, very, very stiff, naked government that yes. refuses to listen. That's that it. will not even be a party that will build consensus and that will bring on board divergent views. So this is a golden opportunity and we intend to make this golden opportunity count right from day one. The police on the other side say they are headed for a game tomorrow. They are very confident that they won't seed any ground. They are still occupying the right side of the speaker. What do you say to that? My simple reaction is that why didn't they go to the Supreme Court when Professor Okwe delivered the same verdict? Speaker Bagbin has only followed a precedent set by this house. And you know, you are experienced followers of parliament. You know that parliament is run by three main pillars. The constitution, the standing orders, and then our conventions. That is what drives parliament, what undergirds the work of parliament. And so the hypocrisy and the double standards when they were doing the same to Honorable Esiama four years ago, why did they go to the Supreme Court? So they should spare us that we have work to do. The Ghanaian people are looking up to the new majority. To